Hello, my name is Stefan and I will show you today how to set the basic parameters for, uh, for to control a for three-way proportional hydraulic valve through the parameterizing software PASO. For that we have a demo application with a hydraulic motor with two direction of rotation. We control this motor with a for three-way proportional valve. It can be any type of proportional for three-way valves from one flu and the electronic we are using is a ST7 amplifier cord. The target of this demo application is that we can control the speed of this motor through a command value. This command value defines the speed on this motor and through a digital input I can define the direction of rotation, right or left, of this motor. To do this, we need the, to do the following steps. First, we have to select how we will make the selection of the direction of rotation. Then we have to, to do the command value scaling. We have to adjust the solenoid outputs. And we have to define how we will release the cart. We are doing this with the parameterizing software PASO. This is the main screen of the PASO. We see on the left side the command value, the input value. Then you see the values inside the electronic card going out to the right side here, to the output, to the solenoid outputs, which are connected to the uh, hydraulic valve. Here we have the enable channel. Here we can define how we will enable the whole system. These adjustments here are additional adjustments. We are not using them at the moment. We will show you in other tutorials how to set or how to use these adjustments. If you will adjust parameters, you can click on the box here then the parameter window will be open and you can adjust every value you need. We will start with the selection of the direction. We go to the valve type and we are using the parameter mode of operation. For our demo application, we need the command unipolar to solenoid with digital input. That means our command value is a value from zero to a positive value. We control two solenoids and the selection of the rotation we make with a digital input. With the next parameter you can select which input should make this selection. In our application I take digital input 2. The two other parameters we leave on default value. With the solenoid type you can switch on or off the current measuring and with the valve type you can select if you are working with a special four three-way proportional valve. Because on our demo application everything is standard, we leave this on the default values. If everything is correct, I click to the OK button that these values really will also stored on the electronic device. Next step is to scale the command value. I have an external demo box with a potentiometer and with this potentiometer I will give the command value to the card. This potentiometer is a voltage signal and it's connected to analog input 1. Now you can see here the value. If the potentiometer is on the left side, I have nearly zero. If I turn the potentiometer to the right side, I have nearly 10 volt. These two values I have to set now inside here as the minimum interface and the maximum interface. The minimum interface, as you can see here, is 0.009 volt. And the maximum interface, the maximum value is 9.865. This value must not really be 0 to 10 volt. It can also be 0 to 5 volt models. If you have the minimum value, then internally we will have 0%. If you have the maximum value, internally we will have 100%. If everything is okay, 
a click to OK. Now we can check it here. Left side potentiometer 0%, potentiometer on the right side 100%. We go to the output. Solenoid driver 1 and 2. This is for one direction, this is for the other direction. We start here. I say here this is solenoid A. Now we can adjust the I minimum and the I maximum. The minimum current I have if the internal value is 0%, the I maximum I have if the internal value is 100%. These values you can read out uh, from the data sheet from the used valve type. For our example, we take for I minimum 100 milliamps and for the I maximum 900 milliamps. If it's correct, click to OK. We make the same for the second output for the other direction. I take solenoid output B. Now I can write in other values for this direction or the same. At the moment I take the same values, 100, 900, and then I say OK, the values are correct. At the end I have to define how I will release the card. I go here to enable channel. On my external box I have a second digital input, a switch, and I will use this switch to enable disable the card. That means I say externally, because it's a signal from external, and I will use digital input 1. Also here, click to OK. If I activate now digital input 1, the card is active, is ready to work. Now, depending on the value here, at the moment it's 0 volt. On the left side, I have internally 0%. On the output here, I have the adjusted I minimum. If I increase now my potentiometer, the value here, you can see the internal values on the device. You see here the transmission from volt to percent, then the value of the command value fixed, of the ramp, of the control value. All these functions are switched off at the moment. We don't need them. Also, these parameters we will explain in other tutorials. Now you see here, depending on this value, the current will increase or will decrease. That means the speed of the motor will also decrease or increase. If you will switch over to the other direction, you have to activate this input here digital input 2. Now from the same potentiometer value internally we create a negative uh, value. This negative value controls here now solenoid driver 2. The same you can adjust the speed you like on the motor but it turns now on the other direction. If for example this 900 milliamps is too high because the speed is too fast you can click at any time here and say for this direction 700 milliamps is enough. Now you see it's the same 100% I still have 700 milliamps. On the other direction I have still this 900 milliamps. You, you can select for both directions different speeds and with the same value here is this 10 volt. You can control here a higher speed and on the other side you can control a lower speed. You see with this parameterizing software PASO it's very easy to start up a system because you see here really at any time the values which are on the card which comes from outside, the values we give out, what happens inside Without an external measuring unit, you see everything, you see what happens on the card, and uh, to set the parameters, it's really very easy. Thank you, and see you again.